what was Sunday like for you guys as a team and for you personally when you found out you were going to get this opportunity to play Georgia, Georgia State in the uh, Lending Tree Bowl? You know, at first it was stressful just because we were waiting all day. So just the anticipation and then you just see bowl game after bowl game getting announced. So we we had no idea. And, and you know, to finally figure it out, you know, we were relieved and excited, you know, getting this opportunity to go play them. What do you know about this Georgia State team uh, early on and what's it going to take to have a good showing against them? From what I've seen so far, you know, they have a good group up front. They're very physical. You know, they get after the quarterback and, you know, they're going to give us a bunch of different looks that we got to be able to handle. You know, this offense is probably the last six quarters that you guys have played going back to the FIU game, the second half there. And, um, you know, obviously the Charlotte game, probably the best stretch of football the offense has played throughout the year. What's it going to take to continue that, um, you know, after a long layoff, a 20 day layoff? You know, we just got to, it really comes down to how we're going to practice, right? We got to keep the practice intensity up. We got to keep doing the little things right. And then everything should fall into place like it has been. You know, for you as a player and the rest of your teammates, it's a, it's a weird time of year, a busy time of year. A lot of things going on with people entering the transfer portal with coaches coming and going. Um, you know, how do you put all those things kind of in the back of your mind and focus on the game? I mean, you just got to block all that out and just keep, uh, keep pushing, you know, dive yourself into your film. You know, nothing's really changed for us. So, you know, we just got to keep, keep moving forward. You know, with uh, Coach Italy being announced on Monday as the new offensive coordinator, quarterbacks coach for next year, you know, I guess how much have you been able to interact with him and what are your um, initial, I guess, reactions to having him join the staff? Uh, I've got to speak to him twice. And, uh, you know, he seems like a pretty good guy from what I can gather so far. So I'm excited to see what he's going to bring to the table. You know, as a program, Western Kentucky played Georgia State in the bowl game uh, 2017. Um, you know, they got the win in that one, Georgia State did. You know, is there any kind of you want revenge factor as a program leading into this year? Absolutely. I mean, I think anytime you lose to a team, you know, getting the opportunity to play them again and getting a little payback is always, you know, a great opportunity for us. You know, looking back on this game, on that game or any Totally different scenarios. Uh, I'm sorry, can you repeat? You said you actually cut out while you were talking. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, when you look back at like film or whatever on that game that year or the stats or all that stuff, is there anything that you can take away from that game um, against that team that year or is it totally different scenario leading into this year? It's pretty much completely different. I mean, the guys who were there aren't, aren't there anymore. The guys who were playing for us aren't there, aren't here anymore. So, I mean, not really a whole lot to gather from it, but. You know, it's still fun. You know, I was a little true freshman playing in that game. So it's fun kind of seeing me back then and how much I've grown so far. Um, you know, this year, you had the bowl game last year. You guys, um, you know, first responder bowl went down to Texas and had all kinds of opportunities there, you know, uh, go to Top Golf, do some stuff there. This year, it's probably going to be a lot different with the pandemic. Um, probably going to be a lot of hotel room action, um, you know. I guess, what's it like this year, uh, knowing that those opportunities might not be there, but you still have the game and a chance to go play again? Just like any other away game, right? You show up, show up to the party, business as usual. You know, no really difference from what we've been doing on the road. So we just got to understand that we're not going to be able to get to, to, you know, go do all these events that we're just showing up, playing the game, going home. I think I'm out of questions for you. I appreciate you taking the time. Yeah, thank you. Hey, good luck on uh, the 26th. I appreciate it. Thanks, man. Is that all right? Yeah, that's great. What's up, Juwan? How you been? What's up? I'm good. Good, good. Um, ready to roll? Yes, sir. Awesome. Sounds good. Um, Juwan, you guys get another opportunity at a bowl game. I know it's something that you guys had hoped for. Um, all of you had said that if you finished the season strong, you guys thought it would be an opportunity that you'd have. Um, you know, it's still in question up until Sunday night. Um, then you guys find out that you're going to go to the Lending Tree Bowl to play Georgia State. What was what was Sunday night like for you guys, for you personally and as the team? Uh, it was just, you know, it was kind of eating us up, just not knowing if we were going to a bowl game or not, you know. They changed the requirements 
for this year. You didn't have to win six games to be bowl eligible, but at the same time, you didn't know we still have a losing we still have a losing record five and six at the end of the day. So we really weren't sure if we we're going to a bowl game or not. But we we're excited to um, to get another chance to you know for, uh, for the this crazy year to put a uh, product on the field. You know, what does this opportunity mean for this program? Or it was kind of a a rough start to the season, one and four, you know, there's everything going on, um, you know, in the world, pandemic, all that stuff. But just to get the opportunity to play one more game, a 12th game, which most programs won't have, um, and, you know, an opportunity to finish off the season um, 500. What did you say? The oppor- You said the opportunity. Yeah. yeah, what does it mean to this program? Uh, it, mean, it means a lot, you know. It's our, what is it, seventh straight bowl game, or some, some, some uh, crazy record. For WKU and it's just another chance to put you know the university on a map you know we represent you know the last name on our back and the um, WKU on the front so you just got to go out there and put your best foot forward and put your best product on the field. With this Georgia State team what do you know about those guys what's it going to take to uh, have another good defensive performance? Um, they do they have a lot of formations they have a lot of you know smoke and mirrors and things like that at the end of the day, at the end of the day, as long as we play our keys and watch the film and, you know, just really is a really important study of film and, you know, practice hard. We have two weeks to prepare for them. So we just got to do all the little things right and everything will fall into place. For the defense, you know, going into a bowl game like this, I imagine that you guys are expecting them to throw the whole playbook at you, not, not hold anything back where it is the last game of the year, I guess. Is it different preparing for a bowl game, or is it just business as usual through practice for you guys? Uh, it's it's business as usual, to be honest. You know, every week it's business as usual. It's just like every team has tendencies. You obviously gonna you can't you can't practice for everything, but you can practice for what the what for sure that they're gonna do. You know, we're expecting Georgia State. You know, uh, come out in funky formations, do trick plays. It's a bowl game, so we we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna throw everything at them, and uh you know, do our best to win. And, you know, this year, um, the NCAA gave the extra year of eligibility, um, but there's probably not going to be everybody taking advantage of that. You know, different guys have different things going on in their lives, but one more chance to go out there with this group of guys, you know, what does that mean to you? And what can you say about this group that you've, you've put in all this time with? Uh, you know, it's a, it's a special group. You know, a lot of the, a lot of the seniors now. Well, I didn't. I didn't play as a freshman, so I'm a year behind. A lot, some people in my class. So it's just like it's crazy. It felt like we just stepped on campus in our freshman year in Bowling Green. You know, having the time of our lives. And when they say it flew by, our, I had a feeling it was going to fly by, but not this fast. You know, it's just it means a lot to me. You know, some some of us are coming back the next year, and that are seniors, and some aren't. But and all in all, we're big happy family and I'm grateful that I got to spend a lot of time with my brothers you know that's that's part of it you know today signing day so a lot going on you know it's the time of year where coaches come coaches go you know there's rumors flying around about coaches how do you just put everything behind you and and focus on the game and and what's that whole process like for you as a player a big big philosophy I've believed on ever since I've been you know high school high school is you know you gotta you gotta control what you can control like you can't you can't worry about things that are out of your hand, like co- who what coaches are getting hired, who's signing, things like that. You know, you can control your your one person, your one body, and you know do your job, work work out hard, watch film, and put a product on the field that's uh, that you're proud of. And so, in essence, just control what you can control. You know, going back to last year, you guys had the first responder bowl. Um, you know, I guess leading up to that game, how is that different than leading up to this game now? And how is it kind of the same, whether that's preparation wise or getting ready to to do things or traveling, I guess, what's this whole process been like compared to last year? Uh, I guess the process, you know, we weren't have COVID wasn't a thing and I get (laughs) every three times a week or whatever is, whatever it is. But uh, I mean, it's kind of like the same process It's just going to be more like a, just another game because with the bowl game, you kind of go, three or four days before the game and there's bowl events and stuff like that. But obviously with uh, COVID restrictions and things like that, we won't be able to do that. And so I don't really, I don't know the exact date when we're going to leave to mobile, but yeah, that's just, that's probably the different. It's just like the bowl environment 
and all and you know COVID. 